In this video, we are going to learn how to resize the bubble and changing the line pattern of a grid line. Most often, when we change our view scale, we need to do adjustment for our annotations. In this example, we only have the bubble and the line pattern of the grid. The view scale is set to 1 is to 100. And if we change the scale to 1 is to 200, you will notice that the grid line pattern and the bubble got bigger. And for our adjustment, select one of our grid. Go to edit type. And what we need to change here is the end segment pattern and the symbol. But we must first duplicate this grid. And for this lesson, let's name this as grid line 1 is 200. Let's start in the end segment pattern. If we click on the drop down list, we will find the different line pattern available but for this lesson we need to create a new one click on ok in the manage tab go to additional settings in the line pattern find the grid line unfortunately we cannot duplicate this but what we can do is to go to edit and remember this type and value remember that we have to divide this by 2 since we changed the scale from 1 is to 100 to 1 is to 200 I'm gonna click on ok and click on new for the name let's type in grid line 1 is to 200 for the type we have dash space dash space and for the first value we need to have 6.35 and 1.59 for the rest click on ok OK again. Select the grid line we are trying to modify. Go to Edit Type. And let's change the end segment pattern to grid line 1 is to 200. And hit Apply. The next is to change the symbol. That is actually the grid bubble. But again, we need to create one based on this M grid head circle. Click on OK. On our project browser, expand families. In the annotation symbols, find the M grid head circle and right click on it. Go to edit. And we have to save as, choose family, and save it to your desired folder. And let's have a name for this, grid bubble, 1 is to 200. Now click on the circle. Remember, for this example, we changed the scale from 1 is to 100 to 1 is to 200. And I'm going to change this to 3.25. And for our label, click on the edit type. Duplicate and name it to 2.25. Now let's change the text size to 2.25. And this is optional. I also like to change the width factor to 0.8. Click on OK. And load into project. Select the grid line we are trying to modify. And change the symbol 
to grid bubble 1 is to 200 hit ok select any grid line other than what we modified right click and select all instances visible in view in the properties drop down select the grid bubble 1 is to 200 that's all in this video and I hope you learned something and have a good day.